Is, is there a is there a kind of a fear that this can also like many other government campaigns in the past might fizzle out? Well, absolutely. You know, if it remains only a government campaign, it will most definitely fizzle out. But the good thing is that this time, unlike other campaigns, the prime minister himself is behind this campaign. That's a difference. But even that difference is not enough. Unless it becomes a mass movement. You know, you mentioned the father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi gave enormous importance to the issue of sanitation and cleanliness. In fact, he went to the extent of saying that our Swaraj will have a foul stench if we do not keep our backyards clean. Unfortunately, India's independence, we have many great achievements and successes, but on the issue of cleanliness, our independence, our Swaraj, indeed has a foul stench. This stench has to be removed. You know, Mahatma Gandhi dirties his, dirtied his hands every day. He used to keep his own toilet clean and the toilets in the ashram clean. So similarly, all of us have to dirty our hands. People have to contribute in their own ways. You know, corporates are giving lots of support, which is good, which is welcome. Hmm? But just as we saw the senior officers of the Central Railway coming down, taking the broom, cleaning up, huh? it should not remain a one-day affair, not only for a photo opportunity. It should be a true campaign because the task ahead of us is a huge Herculean one because the Prime Minister has said that we should make India clean by 2019 when India celebrates the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. We have only five years. In five years, to make the entire nation clean is a, is a Himalayan task, but it can be done. And we must do it. And that is a pledge we must take on Gandhi Jayanti today. So what will be your message to especially the railways, the Western and the Central Railway, and the 75 lakh odd commuters that use it daily? To See, the message is that, you see, they should not think, the railways should not think that their job is only to run trains. You know, we are sit standing here on platform number one of Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus, earlier called Victoria Terminus, VT. It is India's oldest railway station. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it is ranked as the second most spectacular building in the world, railway building in the world. Huh? This is what we have got in inheritance, but we must keep it clean. And therefore, it is the responsibility of the railways, central railways, western railways, to keep the platforms clean, the railway stations clean, the compartments clean, even the outer area clean. It is their responsibility. Unfortunately, in this responsibility, they have failed so far. Hmm? It is good that, you know, responding to the call of the prime minister, the senior officers came, they have kept, you know, you see, it's a, it's a very clean platform. It must remain clean every day. Hmm? And they have a big responsibility. Four years ago, we at the Observer Research Foundation, you know, we conducted a survey and we produced a report on the state of cleanliness and the state of sanitation on all the 120 odd railway stations in Mumbai. And what we, what we showed was a shame on Indian railways because the condition of toilets and urinals is horrible. Even today it is horrible. You know, sanitation is a basic requirement, a basic right of all commuters. So I would say, you know, our appeal to the railway authorities is that within the next few months, they must start a big movement, a big campaign to reconstruct toilets urinals and also keep them clean.